Success simplified in seven steps. And I know that sounds like a really bold promise, but I think over the years, if I were to kind of segment it down that entire journey, I would say it comes down to pretty much seven steps. And the first step is really it begins with a dream. Everybody dreams, everybody wants to have more, be more, and do more. And some people, they don't even dream and that's why they don't even get started. That's step one. Step two, they think about it, visualize it, and it becomes a goal. It becomes something tangible. It becomes a New Year's resolution. It becomes inside their to-do list. And they start to think about it and they start taking action. And that brings us to step number three. Taking action, doing something about it. Taking the action and then anticipating step four. And you know what step four? Step four is failing and making mistakes. Now, st these struggles is something that most people avoid. But I'm here to tell you that if you want to be great at anything, whether it's playing the guitar, whether it's in entrepreneurship, whether it's in sales, whether it's in speaking, whether it's marketing online, whether it's Forex, you speak to anyone that is at the top of the game, they will tell you that that path is filled with struggles, it's filled with mistakes, it's filled with a ton of obstacles that you probably will not expect. And I'm here to tell you that step four is anticipating mistakes and failures. And that brings us to step number five. Step number five is picking yourself up. The question is this, how fast can you pick yourself up after each failure? And this part here is key because at the end of it all, failures are a key ingredient in the su success equation. So step number five is your ability to pick yourself up and continue with enthusiasm even after each failure. And guess what step number six is? Step number six is to repeat step three to step five for a couple of times, maybe a lot of times. It could be hundreds of times. And some people will say, well, Ping Jun, based on this formula over here, you might never reach step number seven. No, I'm talking about how step number six is something that you might need to repeat a couple of times before you reach number seven. And step number seven is having the success that you've always dreamed of. Now, if I were to look at my entire journey, not just for myself, my students, my graduates from all over the world, I know that it all comes down to these seven steps. Now, I don't know you personally, I don't know which step you're on right now, but whatever step you're on right now, if you're on step three, step four, I'm asking you to hang on in there and success comes down to your ability to repeat these steps and not give up. Because at the end of the day, it really comes down to how well you can handle failure and to pick yourself up and continue with enthusiasm.